Welcome to the learners of the certificate course in consumer protection offered by the School of Law, Indira Gandhi National Open University. Today, we are going to discuss on one of the important and vital subject that is the who is the consumer. This topic is covered under course number CPA 101, block number 1 and unit number 4. If we see the real time life, each and every one of us is a consumer. When we say consumer, the person, there are two types of consumers. The person who consumes the goods or hires the services. This consumption of goods and hiring of services can be by anybody, right from a child, child to an elderly person also. Means the person covers the entire, uh, the lifespan of the person concerned. The so consumer is a person. And it, the person may be an individual like uh, you and me. For example, as a student, if you order for a purchase of laptop through online Amazon company and the, after confirming the price of the goods and the sale of the goods, the Amazon company after two hours tells you that, sorry, we cannot sell you the goods due to recession in the company. Now this is the transaction. Now, here a student can become the consumer, number one. Number two, the consumer, the purchase that we make by online as well as offline is also covered under the definition of the consumer under the Consumer Protection Act 2019 passed by the parliament in the year 2019. So therefore, when we talk about the who is a consumer, he can be an individual, he may be a graduate or he may be an advocate, an advocate who places order for the purchase of the Maruti car, he can very well be a consumer. Or we as a firm, a partnership firm, a partnership firm engaged in the jewellery business for earning their livelihood, they can also become the consumer. Or an into undivided family, a family who purchase the television, refrigerator, or all the this, um, washing machines for the consumption of the entire family, so, Hindu undivided family is also become, will become a consumer. Then there are different others, a cooperative society. There are different types of cooperative society. Housing cooperative society is there, or um, the marketing cooperative society is there, consumer cooperative society is there, credit cooperative society is there, transport cooperative society is there, sugar cooperative is there, textile cooperative is there, and so several types of cooperative societies are concerned. Cooperative societies are run by the members of the society. So if the cooperative society in the process of doing the business or providing service to the members, if they purchase any goods or hire the services, then they will also become the consumer of the goods. For example, marketing of cooperative society. The marketing cooperative society has to engage the vehicles for transporting its own goods. So it may purchase the goods or it may purchase the transport also or it may they hire the service of the transport from the transport company also. So they are very well involved in the consumption of goods as well as hiring of the services. Then in addition to this individual firm or individual family or a cooperative society, it may be an association, registered or registered or unregistered a association, maybe a, a depositors association or a dealer's association, or anybody is the player's association. It may be any association. Best example is now the, now the Mumbai Punjab Cooperative Bank gone into liquidation. Now the depositors, they could not withdraw the money from the bank, but each and every consumer, cannot, the deposit holder cannot go before the court or the, uh, uh, to the banking ombudsman for getting the relief, because it will be very expensive. On the contrary, if the, all the deposit holders come together, form an association for fighting for their own causes, then such type of association will also become the consumer under the Consumer Protection Act. Then there may be any corporation or a company or body of the individuals, incorporated or incorporated, they can also become the consumer. For example, a corporation which needs, which, uh, which wanted, which want, needs, uh, say, even the um, uh, air conditioner cooler for, the, for, uh, for fitting in their rooms for the employees. Or the uh, company wanted to purchase the laptop for distribution of its own employees. Or the company wanted to purchase large number of clothes 
for uniforms to distribute its own employees. So this corporation or a company or a body of individual, they can also become the consumers. Even the government can this. Uh, even the uh, government can also become the consumers in the sense that for in the with the view to protect the interest of the consumer, the government can be itself can become the consumer for the purpose of uh, fighting the uh, for, for the fighting the causes against the unscrupulous traders, traders and all, and so on and so forth. So these are the consume, consume these are the persons the consumers. Again, to some of us, for this point is concerned, consumer may be an individual like you and me. It may be an undivided family. It may be a firm registered or unregistered firm. It may be a cooperative society. It may be an associate of persons registered or unregistered. It may be a corporation or a company or body of individuals or any artificial person not covered under any of the categories. This is in a nutshell about the who is the, the, the person who is the person coming under the definition of the consumer now we move into another segment that consumer the, we, i talked about that there are two types of consumers buyer of the goods and hire of the services now we will move into the consumer of the goods the buyer of the goods the who who can be called as the buyer of the goods anybody when we wanted to purchase you, any small things you know uh, again, the concept is the buyer is concerned. Most importantly, when we purchasing the goods or hiring of the services, the important thing is the consideration. Consideration either ref here refers to the price that we pay uh, to the goods purchased or services hired. This is very, very important. The consumer is a person, like what we discussed in the uh, previous uh, few minutes. Consumer is the person who buys the goods for a consideration where the word consideration is very very important and the consideration must be adequate two things consideration refers to the price that we pay to the commodity we purchase or the goods we purchase or the services we hire and this consideration should be adequate any inadequate consideration will not qualify for the, for the definition of the consumer uh, uh, consumer under the consumer protection act and the very simple example i can uh, give you you know when we compare a, a we bisleri bottle when we purchase for a one liter bisleri bottle cost maybe 20 rupees rupees one liter 20 rupees at the same time we get drinking water through our through our waters at home through supplied by the municipal corporations we pay water charges to the municipal corporations which is very very nominal daily we may consume 500 liters of water or 1000 liters of water roughly let us say 500 15000 liters of water we consume uh, sub, uh, supplied by the municipal corporation for which we are paying say uh, tax in the form of taxes few hundred rupees now you compare the prices that we pay for a one liter bisleri water 20 rupees whether it is adequate consideration or the, the price the tax we, we pay uh, in the form of water tax for which we consume 15,000 liters of water will it be adequate consideration certainly the price we pay 20 rupees as a cost for a 20 rupees bisleri bottle there is a adequate consideration in the case of water taxes we pay there is no adequate consideration similarly we pay road tax when we use the vehicle but on the way several times the vehicle got punctured the tires got punctured due to the improper maintenance of the road can we file a case against the government for poor maintenance of the road perhaps we may file but perhaps we may not get the relief for the simple reason that what we pay as a road tax for the entire year or throughout the series that may not be adequate enough to in vis a vis the cost of maintenance is carried out with the concerned government to maintain the road and also therefore these are the examples to say the concept whenever we talk about the consideration or the price that we pay that must be adequate then the consideration is the next issue is it to be paid one fully totally or if the part payment is made is it also covered or only no payment is made only the promise is made that we will pay the price at a later date whether such type of purchase also covered in this in this in the definition consent yes the with regard to the consideration it is not necessary you should take the full price for example again we go for a purchase of a car which cost you roughly 10 lakhs rupees when most of us we don't have the ready cash of 10 lakhs in our hand to purchase the car what we go for it we go for a loan from the bank 
then we have we promised to pay to the bank and send about the 20 years installment we go for it housing loan we wanted to purchase a house but we don't have the money we go to the bank take a loan of 50 lakhs rupees and we have the emi equally monthly instalment for 20 years so in these two cases purchase of car and the purchase of house the, here we don't pay the full price we pay only partly or rather we promise to pay that therefore it is not necessary for the purpose of uh, uh, the fulfillment of the, the consumer the price need not be paid fully it can be paid partly also even partly it can be partly promised also therefore uh, purchase of goods fully paid or partly paid or fully promised or partly promised all these cases are covered under the definition of consumer of the goods now the another thing is there are the inclusive category also one is the a person who purchases the goods not only that the person who who purchases the goods as the original buyer he is covered but even other persons a stranger who, who who uses the goods with the approval of the original buyer he or she is also covered there's a one a good example rather best example a car owner was driving the vehicle on the highway so one fellow one passer by he showed his hand he asked for the lift then the original car by the owner gave a lift to the stranger then after giving the lift the owner with his he approved and he said he said okay yes you can get into vehicle after boarding the vehicle then the fellow appears to be a, 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 a regular a, a stealer that not he was a, a, he is then by showing the uh, revolver on his hand hijacked the vehicle because his intent was different when he was standing and asking for a lift he was showing an innocent face after boarding the vehicle then threatened the owner himself if you don't leave the vehicle i will shoot you and all the owner with a view to save his own life then he just with the save his life he just left the vehicle got away then he drew the vehicle and sold it away when the case was filed upon the insurance claim the insurance claim argued that the person who has stolen the vehicle is not a consumer now the issue is the person who stolen the vehicle who get got into the vehicle with the approval of the original owner original buyer will he be a consumer the court said yes even though he is a person thief even though he is a thief but he got into the vehicle with the approval of the original owner of the car therefore even a thief can be covered under the definition of the consumer for the purpose of claiming insurance this is one such thing you know the example so a person who buys the goods that he is uh, uh, who buys the goods and when he is made with the approval of the original buyer this this person is so covered and so to conclude or to repeat it at the cost of repetition the original buyer in any case is covered under the definition of the consumer in addition to him the other persons who use such goods with the approval of the original buyer then he is also covered under the definition of the consumer uh, now then then we come to the exclusion class there are certain classes of persons who are not covered under this who are they a person who obtains or purchases the goods for resale or for commercial purpose these two category of persons are not covered under this definition generally the wholesalers they purchase for the purpose of selling the goods to the retailers so therefore the per- the re- wholesaler is not the consumer even the retailer who purchase the goods in bulk for the purpose of selling to the final consumer with for the purpose of earning profit then such type of person are not covered under the definition of the consumer meaning therefore any purchases any person who purchase the goods with the intention to earn profit or to make profit out of that then he will not be covered under the definition of the consumer so that means or for any commercial purpose so the purchase made for resale of the same goods to others with the intention to earn profit he is not covered or in addition to that person who purchases the goods for commercial purpose for commercial activity commercial again the profit connotation will come into play those ta- these two type of persons are category of persons are not covered under this then what about the what is that commercial purpose now a partnership firm involved in the partnership business of poultry firm they applied for a loan of 9.9 crores loans from the bank 
the bank the loan was to be renewed within a year ultimately but it was not done then therefore the bank levy debited the account of the partnership firm for uh, uh, payment of the interest accrued in the particular year the interest of the because during that relevant year the bank has hiked the interest rate so that interest was recovered from the account of the uh, this uh, partnership firm engaged in poultry business now when the comp the partnership firm filed a case in the consumer before the consumer for a alleging that there was a deficiency in service the bank took the plea that this consumer partnership firm is not a consumer because the loan is taken for commercial purpose but the argument of the partnership firm was no it is not for commercial purpose we have taken it for our uh, for uh, our earning our livelihood the services comes in the next slide for earning our livelihood now the issue is taking loan of 9.9 crores from a bank for a, running a partnership firm can it be considered for earning their livelihood 9.9 crore loan means you should have the very large establishments of business very large establishment of business means you should engage a large number of employees so therefore a person simply by saying that i am running a partnership firm by putting a, a, a 10 crores as a capital that it is for the earning the livelihood that will not accept to the court therefore the commercial so such type of loans involve a large amount of money that will be regarded as the for a commercial purpose only so is in a nutshell we are concluding who, who are the buyer of the goods who are the buyers covered under this apart from the original buyer and who are not covered under the buyer of the goods that is the person who purchases the goods for resale or for commercial purpose this type of category of persons are, are not covered under this now we will move into the seller hirer of the services now the uh, hire of the sir who are the person hire the sir again same analogy when we hire the services services of any there are the different type of services are there services may include it may be a banking it may be an insurance housing i housing i already said insurance i already referred medical services that is covered telecommunication transport services air transport road transport rail transport they even the legal as a from legal profession postal speed all these types are covered under services now again in the same manner as that of the goods if we hire the services either fully paid or partly paid or fully promised or partly promised this uh, this type of uh, all set be covered under this that means consideration need not be paid fully or in a or consideration paid even partly or partly uh, promised also can be covered under this that is for the coverage of hire of the service concern then again analogous to the purchase of the uh, goods the any beneficiary the original um, hire of the service in all cases is covered under the definition of the consumer for the purpose of hiring the services in addition to the original beneficiary any other beneficiary of the such service if he avails such service with the approval of the original beneficiary then he or she also will be covered under this definition of the uh, uh, consumer under the consumer protection act so beneficiary of such service also covered under the service now what is not covered under the uh, this uh, uh, irm services there are two category of things are not covered under this that the but does not include who avails such service for commercial purpose okay so again any service availed for commercial purpose that is not covered under this at the same time any service hired for earning the one's own livelihood that those things are covered under this now for a commercial purpose i have already given the example of the partnership firm availing loan of 9.98 crores they said it is definitely for a commercial purpose at the same time a purchaser of a bus mini bus for running a, a, in a city by a, a, a small uh, by a very uh, illiterate person with the intention to earn his livelihood and he purchased the uh, bus by raising the loan from the bank 4.5 lakhs since he was not knowing the driving he engaged a driver to play for playing the bus now again there was a dispute 
then the vehicle there was some uh, uh, defect in the machines uh, good supplied and the defect in the service also when the case was filed the dealer who sold the vehicle he took the plea that this purchase of bus is for commercial purpose since he engaged a driver uh, for flying it therefore it's a commercial purpose but the 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 person who raised the loan he placed the he placed the facts before the authorities even say i of course i engaged a driver since i was it is because i was not knowing the driving therefore i engaged the driver but definitely this purchase of vehicle is definite is totally for the purpose of meeting my own livelihood the court accepted this argument uh, and accepted this yes even the purchase of bus involves a few lakhs of rupees but if it is for the earning one's own livelihood then it will be treated as for a um, um, earning livelihood only so this is another the third one any uh, under safe example can be they may be a, a physically de- disabled person who wanted to make his livelihood he just put a, a shop of um, say photocopier machines he orders for a photocopy 10 or 15 or 20 photocopier machines now if you see apparently speaking you seeing this tent purchase of 20 photocopier machine may look may uh, look like a purchase for commercial purpose but a disabled person in order to earn his livelihood he needs at least the service of a, a, a usage of 10 to 20 machine for the person earning his livelihood so court has accept, also accepted the, that purchase of machine even a bulk quantity but if it is for the purpose of the earning livelihood then such type of sir, uh, this um, uh, purchase hiring of the services will be considered for the purpose of the uh, uh, consumer under the consumer protection act now uh, this is what about the um, uh, consumer we have seen goods we have seen the services also now let us uh, look into the as i said no some of the uh, this uh, services also we can see as i said some of the examples of the case laws as i said bank uh, or goods when we talk about the goods all type of goods are covered let it be perishable commodity like fruits and vegetables milk or milk products it may be non perishable commodity cereals and pulses or even it may be a, a seeds purchased the uh, the farmer purchased the seeds from the agriculture department and the agriculture department assured certain percent say quantity of um, yield per acre based on the assurance given by the agriculture department the par- farmers purchased their seeds but later on it don't be you know the seeds was not a german uh, 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 seeds that it did not give the record yield record yield or the promised yield the farmers filed a case against the dealer and the ifco in uh, indian farmers fertilizer cooperatives uh, arguing that they given the defective seeds now and the court after examining the things the court came to the conclusion even a farmer who purchased the seeds from the dealers or from the agriculture department through if, if, if big giants like uh, ifco he will be become a consumer for the purpose of the consumer protection act so so anybody can become the consumer about the consumer goods and non consumer capital goods industrial goods they can also the only thing is whether the goods is purchased for commercial purpose or earning is level that is the only thing to be not the price not the bulk quantity if the even if the bulk quantity as i said in the case of disabled person if it is for proved beyond doubt that it is for earning is livelihood that case is covered under the consumer protection act or in all other cases uh, um, per, other purchases they will not be covered under this concept now let us look into some of the case laws also and now let me come into the uh, case laws defect in the goods of pro- this is again uh, this I, i i think i did not this case a problem of excessive consumption of the oil Uh, uh, could amount to deficit defect in the vehicle actually an advocate purchased the vehicle then within few months the vehicle started this consuming huge uh, consumption of um, um, this uh, petrol then he complained it to the dealer then the um, the mechanic came and examined and found that yes there was a defect in the machine therefore the the, the vehicle was consuming huge oil so therefore then in this case now the court held that that if a sale of vehicle which consumes 
excessive say um, um, oil uh, oil then such type of uh, sale of defective goods will be covered under the consumer protection act then i talked about the several issues and then let me take the banking services another case things and so banking we all many of us even the uh, farmers and the poor people we have to maintain account with the bank bank we are maintaining the accounts also now and the main may if you may, may keep a fd in the uh, account of the bank concerned and if at the time of uh, maturity we have to produce the deposit slip uh, to the bank then only we will get the repayment of the fd if we fail to produce the fd receipt from the bank then so it will not uh, the bank has no liability to pay the uh, uh, pay the maturity amount is concerned therefore each one of us who keep the fixed deposit in the bank they should preserve the deposit slip provided by the bank at the time of uh, making the fd now housing as i said all type of house purchases uh, uh, they are covered under the um, housing uh, construction failure to deliver the possession of the house flat Uh, by the uh, this, um, by the builder will amount to deficiency in uh, deficiency in uh, uh, service there are about insurance i talked about this uh, purchase of machine for a commercial purpose as not actually if machine may be for the purchase of the uh, commercial purpose but if the purchase is for uh, earning his own livelihood then such a case also covered under this insurance camp, uh, this theft case also i referred about this you can say then earning livelihood case also are about uh, medical negligence one or two case i would like to refer it that now even a releasing a dead body by the hospital to an unrelated third person unequitably constitute a deficient service even in the case of med- hospitals they often they commit the mistake of delivering the dead body to the unknown person such a case it will come under the medical negligence concern anyway there is a separate lecture on uh, medical negligence i will be taking up so therefore we can cover this case also then adulterate seed i sort of an unfair trade practice also amazon at uh, the student case also i referred about that uh, uh, i to conclude mainly i have to tell you two things under the consumer protection act 2019 purchase or hiring of service made not only by offline but also by online are also covered under this under the consumer protection act 1986 only the purchases made uh, by offline as well as services hired by offline alone was covered under this and the 2019 act it's a new addition um, uh, made by the uh, legislators now they included purchases made by online as well as well as the service hired by online now all uh, purchases made by online are covered under the consumer protection so like talked about the amazon case uh, where that uh, refusal to honor the uh, the um, uh, order uh, uh, under the order once it is made that will amount to deficiency in service so these are the some of the um, case laws related to the uh, consumer is concerned now i assure you that now you please go through the, our course material i referred already co- this um, block number 1 and unit number 1 and uh, so then you will get all other further details which are not covered in this with this we conclude the lecture and thank you each one of you for listening to this